here with another special report. And today we're taking a delicious look at one of America's oldest and favorite snacks, the Twinkie. But first, a word from our sponsor, Camel Cigarettes. Did you know that the smoke of slow burning camels contains 28% less nicotine than leading competitors? Joe DiMaggio himself claims they're easy on the throat, milder in every way, and the medical community concurs. More doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. So for digestion's sake, smoke camels. <laughs> Twinkies are the swellest snacks in sliced something or the other, and that's Beachy Keen because they have the same sugar daddy as Wonder Bread. In 1930, James Alexander Dewar was trying to make use of his company's shortbread baking pans during the strawberry off-season. At the time, he was working for the Continental Baking Company, the same hip cats who purchased the Tiger Baking Company, thereby acquiring the rights to Wonder Bread. In something of a pint, Dewar filled a shortcake with banana cream and the Twinkie was born. Now you might be scratching the old noggin calling old Jimmy a fibber. A Twinkie with banana cream? What a bunch of malarkey, I hear you saying. Well, during WW2, when we kicked the Krauts Keister for the second time, bananas were strictly rationed. So Dewar swapped the starchy food for vanilla, creating the Twinkie we all know today. In the heyday of Reaganomics and the final death knell for the commies, the Continental Baking Company experimented with different flavors. And in 2007, to coincide with the remake of one of my favorite childhood pictures, King Kong, they re-released the banana Twinkie. And while some flavor concoctions were swell and others not so much, none managed to touch the classic vanilla cream filling which endured throughout the 20th century. And speaking of enduring, there's a tall tale surrounding Twinkies that's mostly hogwash, and I'd like to give you all the straight dope. According to legend, because Twinkies supposedly only contain artificial ingredients, they have no expiration date, and pictures and TV programs have reinforced this myth. But if you take a gander at the ingredients, there's clearly food in it, and the original Twinkie shelf life was about 26 days because of the absence of dairy products and the use of airtight cellophane wrappers. 26 days is a lot longer than most baked treats, but far cry from forever. In 2013, after a one year absence during which their parent company declared bankruptcy, Twinkies returned in a new svelte form that, along with added preservatives, lasted 45 days. The original Twinkie weighed 42.5 grams with 150 kilocalories, but after parent company Hostess declared Chapter 11 in 2012, and their subsequent purchase by Apollo Global Management and Metropolis and Company in 2013, the number one iconic junk food shed some weight coming in at 38.5 grams with 135 kilocalories and a lifespan of 19 extra days. And over the years, the Twinkies had more pop cultural references than nearly any other confection, appearing in everything from Ghostbusters to Die Hard, The Deer Hunter, The Iron Giant, Wally, and plenty more. Tragically, it also became an unofficial part of jurisprudence when the lawyer defending Dan White for the murders of San Francisco City Supervisor Harvey Milk and Mayor George Moscone happened to mention that his normally clean-cut client had become depressed and was gorging himself on junk food like Coca-Cola and Twinkies. And as a result of White's depression, he allegedly suffered a diminished mental capacity to be held fully criminally liable for the murders. This odd strategy actually worked, getting White acquitted of the most serious charge of first-degree murder and him being convicted of voluntary manslaughter and forevermore improbable legal gambles like that became informally known as the Twinkie Defense. Luckily for us, Twinkies have stood for far more good than bad and the name means a lot more than a bonkers murder defense. These days, Twinkies come in a broad assortment of flavors, including the original banana and non-standard products like Twinkie cereal by post. And whenever the pressures of being a full-time newsman and a part-time gumshoe get to be too much and I'm not in the mood for a smoke, there's nothing quite like the classic taste of a Twinkie. Be sure to help me grow my business by subscribing to my televisual program and I'll have a lot more content coming your way. This is Jimmy Midnight signing off.